Hey guys, I'm back here with an update on the firmware issue I was having with the LV6548 inverter earlier this week. As you can see behind me here, the display is now working. And you can see there the battery symbol is blinking, which means the inverter is properly communicating. So it's been quite the process both to get this firmware upgraded and to get this fixed once it stopped working. So this video is going to be more of, you know, I'm going to tell you what I tried. And I do apologize in advance because it may end up being a bit of a ramble. Uh, so I have not heard back from MPP Solar yet. I did send them a second email. I think it's been about a week. And uh, in all fairness, they do have an automated response that comes out that indicates it may be delayed due to COVID problems, COVID quarantines. I'm not really sure what's going on. So I did end up trying to load the firmware that was posted on the DIY Solar Forum, and that was version 112.19. I was avoiding that at first for a few reasons, one of which was that is OEM firmware. It's not MPP's firmware. I didn't know if the two were different, if MPP had done anything special to their firmware. And the other reason was that a number of people on that forum were posting problems flashing it, saying that it was causing overheating issues and all that. So I ended up downloading that firmware and thought I'd give it a try anyway. Uh, so of course when I tried to load that firmware, it said write failed. It didn't even try to start, you know, it, it didn't really do anything. Uh, and that was the same problem I was having previously when I was trying to flash the 12.13. Now in that thread, there's been a lot of ideas and suggestions thrown around. One member reported that he was able to get the firmware loaded by repetitively blowing on the PCB for the entire 11 minute flash process. So he actually removed the circuit board from the housing of the remote control panel and blew on the electronics for 11 minutes while this file flashed to that piece of equipment. I don't even know what to say to that. Now at this point I did have the circuit board out of the case and it didn't feel hot, like it just felt normal electronic warm, nothing bad. I have a pair of uh, 80 millimeter computer fans here. I just taped them straight to the front of the board and they have plenty of airflow. You can feel the air blowing out the sides around it. So it was nice and cool after that. And it seemed like it was trying to flash. It would say that it erased, but it would fail and say zero blocks righted. And uh, yes, it says the word righted. So that's the point at which I posted on the forum myself and asked for advice. And one of the users who was able to get it flashed said, you know, he needed a lot of cooling. I think he said he used an air compressor or something. Um, and he had recommended trying to throw it in the freezer for a few minutes. So I put it in the refrigerator. After it was in there for about 10 minutes, I plugged it back into the inverter and tried to flash it. And holy cow, it actually started to flash. Got to about 10% and then it failed. So uh, it definitely seems to be a heating or a cooling theme. So at that point, I thought, okay, maybe it just needs more airflow. I've got this very large four inch duct fan. It's a squirrel cage fan design here. It doesn't have a CFM rating on it, uh, but it does say 2,620 RPMs. So I directed this thing here, the output of this fan directly on that circuit board, pretty much like a windstorm on the thing. You think it would take the firmware? No, it still failed and still said zero blocks righted. So that's the point at which I had enough because this thing either needs to go in the freezer or some sort of forced cooling needs applied to it. So what I did was I took the PCB, taped it to the front of my 18,000 BTU air conditioner, took a 25 foot ethernet cable with an RJ45 coupler on the end, and then I plugged the other end of that ethernet cable into my inverter. So now this thing is getting forced cool air out the front of an air conditioner and it flashed perfectly on the very first try. Now the display works perfectly fine and I really, really don't even know what to say. I don't know what the problem with this thing is. I don't know if it's a hardware problem. You know, I've flashed 12.13 on my other inverter and I had no problems whatsoever with it. I didn't have to do any ridiculous cooling. I simply plugged in the cable and flashed the firmware. Either this hardware is different, either it's faulty, or maybe they've got some kind of thermal protection in there to prevent people from flashing new firmwares to it. I think the faultiness is kind of ruled out because many people seem to be having this problem. I think any sort of thermal limits maybe is ruled out because it's not covered in their documentation of how to flash this thing. In the meantime, the person on the forums who had the official MPP firmware had uh, directly sent that to me and I was able to compare the two files and the firmware that is supposedly from MPP is the same uh, firmware that is from the OEM. Same files, it's the same checksum hash, I checked it out. The bottom line is I would not touch the firmware on your inverters unless you have to. The only reason I started down this path is because they had the buggy firmware in this inverter that would not communicate with the Pylon Tech protocol. So if you're thinking of attempting this, please understand the risks and know what you need to do to cool this device down to get this firmware to save to it. So yeah, I think I will be pursuing the EG4 inverters from Signature Solar. And there's a variety of reasons for that, one of which is the 500 volt charge controller. 
um, as opposed to these are 250 volt. Additionally, I know I can pick up the phone and call Signature Solar directly, whereas I'm now waiting over a week for a response from this manufacturer in China. Uh, so yeah, other than that, the usual, if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. I don't know if you found this video interesting or not, but if you did, please hit that like button before you go. And thanks for watching and listening.